Cena, class of 19, baby. We're in the building. And uh, let's walk around the stadium, see what we got going on. And uh, let's see if we can catch a ball, like always, man. Zach Campbell style. You know how we do it. Let's go, Yankees, man. It's going to be a beautiful day for a ball game. Well, upon entry, we find that there's no batting practice like uh, yesterday. But we're going to go over to the Oakland A's side, like we did. And we're gonna try to catch a ball, well, try to catch a ball and try to get an autograph. Let me go over there now. All right, so we finally made it over here to the uh, left field side. And we're gonna get a spot here. And hopefully one of these players will come over. Sign a ball or something. Back here, the rubber match as they call it. Let's see what happens. The Oakland Athletics are one athletic crew. They got guys playing hacky sack here. These guys are playing catch. In the background, they're playing football with a real football. And then they're playing soccer back there. So yeah, they're really all around, I guess. Here's the parade of Little Leagues. And uh, all the kids from the uh, Little Leagues are in here. One more, one more. One more, please. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Nice. Awesome. Thank you. It is. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. All right, there he is. Woo. All right, so we just got two autographs, one by number 58 and another guy who I'll confirm later. But uh, that's four autographs in two games. We're doing pretty good with Oakland. So uh, I guess I, now I have an Oakland ball with one Tampa Bay pitcher on it. So not bad. So, Hopefully to catch another ball and get that one autographed too. So until then, let's walk around the stadium. It's always beautiful walking through uh, the Great Hall. Awesome. Brand new floor is done. The stadium is looking better than ever. Mike Mussina Hall of Fame, which I gotta go upstairs now and get in position to, uh, to do that. So let's find our seats and do the great reveal for uh, Mike Mussina. So here we are of the great reveal, like always. How beautiful Yankee Stadium is right now. Oh yeah, got a few clouds in the sky, but that's okay. That's okay. Still a beautiful day for a ball game. Nice and breezy. Not too hot, not too cold. Probably it's a little hot in the sun, but it's bearable. Take all the little league kids down here. Well, let's get this game started, baby. Mike Pusina Day. You're really overthinking this one. <laughs> Mike Pusina. All right, Mike Pusina. Moose. For the best who has to play the game, on baseball training began the best yards of our neighborhood back in my hometown in the Forest of Pennsylvania. To all the Yankee fans everywhere, thank you for your support during my eight years of game strike. My Lucina was intense. Like one of the better 
the one like stable pitcher we had like three years where he didn't have his best pitching. Yeah, man, he was intense, man. You know who's good though to, to walk? Wong Wong? Wong? Yeah. You know, if I were working, if I were old enough to work during the Wong era, I think I would probably enjoy working during the Wong era. Wong alive. Wow. He always pitched quick and efficient games. Yes. My father loved that about him, man. Like, the Same games were never too long when Wong Yes. Played. He would always throw a quick. Pitch. It was always under three hours, and like throw. two and a half. Yeah. 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 Too bad he hurt his foot stepping on home plate, man. And that was it. That's why pitchers really shouldn't be that sorry. It's, it's just, I know people like to tell me the pitchers are bad. I mean, then again, they should be great hitters because they play baseball their whole life. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, pitchers batting is just as dangerous as pitchers good. Yeah. Like, true. Like, that's already dangerous. Remember when Chapman got hit in the head by a line drive? There goes Mike Mussina going around in the cart. That's pretty cool, man. Not as many people as it was for Mariano, but it's the same thing. I'm gonna hold it here for Mike Mussina. Yeah. So it's only fitting that I'd be here today. Yeah, man. Mike Lucina. He was awesome. It's also too bad he doesn't, he doesn't want to go to old-timer state games anymore. Mike Lucina, baby. Father Ellie and his brother Mark. By the second inning, we got to go down and take a picture with it. Oh, yeah. You know, I don't really care if I get a picture because eventually, I don't know whether it be now, but at least during the winter, I would imagine we go to Boots Town take a, take a road trip up there when I'm not working at NBC. Nice. It's cold up there, man. You don't go, don't go when it snows. It's true, but it's better to go in the winter because you won't see the crowd the way you would if it were like during the summer. Yeah. You wouldn't see the crowd. Yeah. I went, I think during the winter of 05 06 was my first trip when I was like 9 or 10. My dad took me. Nice. I just seen it. I 
remember that. I think that's his best move as a Yankee. Yeah. Tory. Yes, who's your daddy? Although, if we're being fair, this bullpen wasn't that consistent all year, so I think you can kind of understand that he's rather, why he would rather trust the chop tired Pedro yeah. over the whole, everyone else in that bullpen. True. Once I started talking about Hall of Fame, and I think I sensed a little bit of Like I said, if you remember, if you remember those show top five reasons you can't play and look that episode up. Uh, we'll see why Grady Little really shouldn't get as much of the blame as Yeah. I don't even know why we lost that playoff. What game? 2003. Oh, that was a ter- that was bad. That I don't know how we blew that. Like. The game we should have won was game four. Jason Slurry won out. They couldn't get it won. Joe Torrey. Yes. Torrey, assistant commissioner. I do know you have just written off into the sunset on time, but instead have continued participating in athletics through you coaching, currently coaching golf, basketball, and baseball. Yeah, he teach basketball too. Please welcome Yankees senior vice president and general manager Brian Cash. And Yankees Hall of Fame inductee Tony Gonzalez. Please welcome the Yankees Hall of Fame inductee Tony Gonzalez. 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 No, the Marlins, that's right, yeah. Uh, yeah, I know, you're thinking of the one that happened two years ago. Fuck, yeah, I know. That was a bad one, too. Yes. Throws the ball over the center field. That would have been great to win just because it was in, in the waiting moments, the waking, like, aftermath of 9 11. Yeah, that too. That would have been a really good one. Still, as bad as the World Series were, nothing tops 0 4 for, for the moment that still gives me PTSD. I get mentally ill talking about the ALCS. Yes. I had the newspaper for some time, and the Daily News newspaper, it looked like it was like a funeral page. Yeah. Like it was horrible. To the Yankees organization, to Brian Cashman, his whole staff, to their hospitality. Like you've seen it. Fame, man. He deserves it. Really does. For all your support, uh, for us as a team, and for me personally, uh, it was a great time here, and I'm so glad I came to New York pitch. He should have won a championship, and, uh, too, man. Should have won. And for uh, all the days that I got to wear the pink stripes, thank you. Thank you, man. Yeah, yeah. True.
And his number should have not been retired. Sorry. Mattingly? Yeah. I completely agree with that. I know it's a hot should take have. among Yankee fans, but I don't know. He should have been retired. He didn't win no chip. Actually, there are a lot of players who really shouldn't have had their number retired. So here is Mike Messina to throw out the first pitch with his son. His son is going to catch it. So let's see how he does it, man. There we are, Mike Messina, Hall of Fame day. Hall of Famer, Mike Mussina. So right now, Aaron Judge just struck out, but J.A. Happ is pitching one hell of a game right now. And uh, he's flawless right now. If you can see, he's only allowed one hit. J.A. Happ. So hopefully he can get this game and the Yankees can continue here. We have a man on first, uh, LeMayu, and... Uh, Batting is Torres. So hopefully we can score a run. Bottom of the fourth right now. There he is. The Cracker Jack. He's, he's throwing him around. He got here late today in my section anyway. But he's working the crowd. He's working the crowd. Well, right now at the top of the eighth inning in J. Hap, uh, J. A. Hap. Just a hell of a game today, man. And as you can see, it's starting to get cold. Up in the upper deck, it's freezing up there right now. Uh, the sun's went down. Now it's cloudy over the glass. The wind. So it's very chilly. Definitely need a sweater. Hold on first. No Chapman better at first, but the Yankees gave up three runs. After J. Hap puts a great of a game. But um, let's see if the Yankees have a rally in their bones, like Michael K says. Let's see what happens. All right, on a bases loaded for Torres, uh, it was a pop fly, but a uh, sacrifice fly, I'm sorry. So one run of score, the men move over, and uh, it's 4 to 1 now. Okay. So let's hopefully we get a rally going. hit the rally is in the Yankee bones we're back four to three we're in the game we're back in the game Brett, the hit man Gardner he takes it deep all the way to deep right field holy cow and how about that Brett, the hit man Brett the Hitman has tied the game. He's tied the game. Wow, holy cow, man. How about that? The Yankees did it again. The Yankees did it again. We're gonna win this game today, baby. Holy cow. They did it again. Touchman, Touchman. Walk off. Mike Ford, holy God, he did it again. Man. Yeah, man, the stadium is going crazy two days in a row. Wow. There it is. Wow, man. He blasted it all the way to the... Uh, to the uh, Yankee bullpen. about time, man. Every time you call me, it's either they give up a home run or they hit a home run.
Yeah. All right, so as I wait my way down the rotunda, Yankee did it again, two days in a row, man. Walk off, baby. It don't get no better than that, man. Wow. Uh, the tied it. And then uh, Ford, man, blasted the home run to win the game. <laughs> don't ever count the Yankees out, let me tell you, man. They got, and you know what? Like Roger said, Aaron Boone was planning to lose the game. The way he was playing the game, he was planning to lose the game, and the Yankees end up winning it anyway. How about that? So we take the series against Oakland, which I didn't think we was gonna do because of the way they were playing. But keep the ball rolling, folks. See you on the next vlog. Tomorrow is uh, Memorial Day or Labor Day? Labor Day, yeah. Labor Day tomorrow. We'll be back. So uh, see you. Hit the like button. It's free of charge. Don't cost you nothing. Hit the like button. See you, folks. Always the aftermath. That's what it looks like, man, leaving Yankee Stadium after a Yankee home win and a walk-off at that, huh? But traffic gets crazy, the, and, uh, and, it's, and it's hard to get out of here, let me tell you. But until then, Yankees win, and uh, let's get on to the next one. Tomorrow, we'll be back.